that's where I'm going to be in a few hours. I just realized how dark it is in here, so I'm standing like right next to my light. But anyway, today, JP and I are going down to New York City to Central Park because he's surprisingly never been there before, even though he set up the phone systems for like 80 senders in New York City at one point, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, we're going down to New York City, and then we're also going to go down to Liberty State Park, which is where that photo on my wall was taken, and interestingly enough, is one of the first photos I ever took. Fun day planned, and uh, it should be interesting because today is supposed to be another one of those really bad air quality days where the smoke from the wildfires in Canada is just, like, polluting the city, so we'll see what happens. JP's building out the music playlist now. We're almost on the way. Well, after fucking <laughs> driving around for almost as long as it, uh, looking for a parking spot almost as long as it took us to actually get here, we're here, city chilling, on our way to Central Park. Doing a proper New York City vlog. And you know why I love New York City? Because I could be out here chilling with a camera, not giving a damn, whereas if I'm home, everybody's gonna look at me like I'm fucking crazy. So, gotta love New York City. You know I gotta break out the signature sweat towel. <laughs> JP, what do you think it's so far? Uh, pretty chill so far. We've been just basically just people watching and just hanging out. And now I'm gonna take some pictures in a minute because why the hell not? And I think I'm gonna go with the 85. This is why I love New York. That's so lovely. Come on, I wanna see you dance, man. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Dance with me. Hey! Check it out. Free whoopie pie. From my boy Nico. Right over there, having a time of his life. I love it. So we spent some time in Central Park, took some pictures, took some videos, saw some turtles. So far so good, JP? Oh yeah, very good. Now we're gonna go get some grub because we're fucking starving. And then we're gonna head to uh, Liberty State Park. And just like that, we are at Liberty City State Park with an absolutely dope view of the skyline behind me. There's still a lot of like haze, especially over that way. There's still a lot of haze from the Canadian wildfires and stuff, but it's pretty dope out here. Bunch of people hanging out, having a good time. Big old cruise ship right back there. So interestingly enough, this is actually one of the first spots I ever like really took photos at. It was maybe like the second or third time I ever actually used my camera for photography. And it was the day that we came down. I came down with JP who is right over there and we went to B&H the day that he got his R5 I'm now shooting on my R5 because you know he converted me and we came down that day grabbed his camera from B&H went to the vessel at Hutton Yards and then drove back over here and we took some photos in the abandoned train station which is there which I will be in later on today hopefully if it's still accessible um, and that's the photo actually that I have hanging in my apartment 
from the beginning of this video was taken right over there. So it's kind of cool because that was literally like two years and three weeks ago to this day. So two years later and it's just cool to reflect on like how far I've come in my journey with you know photography and filmmaking and all that stuff and now here I am. So those of you who know me may know this already but I've been kind of having some struggles with mental health and depression and lack of creative motivation and a ton of other stuff but this this trip right here right now a big part of that is getting back to that so just coming out and being creative not having to pick my camera up for work or for somebody else just for me and being able to express myself which is the thing I do best in the way in which I have the most fun and the way that I'm best at which is this so with that being said all in all so far today has been a perfect trip for just that just to have fun with just me and my buddy, my buddies, and just come down by the water, which I love to be by, using my camera, which I love to be using, and just having fun and enjoying myself. So I'm back to it, I'm back to it. I've just been thinking a lot lately about like, first of all, I've been making content for like 11 or 12 years now, which is absolutely insane to think about. Wow, I'm gonna be 30 next year. Holy sh! Anyway, yeah, I've been making content for so long and like how I got into it and how I ultimately fell in love with cameras was just that I would pick up my phone. Back in the day, it was my Virgin Mobile flip phone. Virgin Mobile flip phone, which I thought was like the coolest thing at the time. I remember that's how it all started. It was just making little sketches on Instagram. I grew a following off that, met so many amazing people. Then I decided to step up to like YouTube and longer form stuff with an actual camera. And now here I am. And all of the craziness that's happened for better or worse has honestly, it's been an amazing ride, but I feel like that ride had come to a screeching halt for a while. But now, we back at it, baby. Oh, by the way, that's Ellis Island. And behind it, which you can't really see right now, is the Statue of Liberty. I'm getting like a nice whiff of the, the sea salt water, salt water, sea air. I'm getting a nice hit of the ocean water air right now. Boy, is that hitting the spot. That is just serotonin right up here. I've also realized water is like very calming and relaxing to me. And I'm not big into astrology and all that, but I'm a water sign and they say water signs need to be near water. And I, look, I don't believe in all that necessarily, but uh, I do feel pretty damn good next to water. So maybe there's a little bit of truth to it. All that to say that I am feeling good, doing good. I'm, I'm getting healthier. I've been cooking. I am recording. I'm making content again. Work is going well. Everything's going pretty well right now after a very not so well couple of weeks. So I, I just first and foremost want to say thank you to everybody who supports, all, even including you know all nine of you who might actually watch this. But thank you to everybody who supports me, friends, family, followers. Oh, that kind of went hard. Friends, family, followers, the three Fs. I, I just appreciate all of it. And uh, I'm getting back to back to my roots. You look a lot like this dude Dustin I know. Yeah? You have the same camera. Did you figure out what the record button is? I'll tell you this though. With wide angle, you need to get one. You used I see? I'm still I'm filling up the frame right now, right? It's looking pretty good. And with the EF adapter, I've got the ND in there, so I don't have to worry about throwing a filter at the end of this. What's that? A thing. How, how much how much did you spend on that lens? Hold up in Korean one, that's the currency. That's the Korean currency, it's called one. So how much one did you spend on anything? Uh, I'm gonna guess it's probably like, it's one of those currencies where it's like in the hundreds of thousands. Yeah, dude, like a billion yeah. one is like Yeah, 10, that, okay, right. that's what I thought. So, so probably then, like yeah. half a billion one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's disgusting, was it worth it? I think so. Of course it was. <laughs> it's just fucking broken. Are you trying to see into space right now? What the fuck is even? So that's the that's that up there. Is it not? It's just not focusing. Nobody moving muscle. I don't know what it's looking at right now. I'm gonna assume the inside of my pores. Just helping my friend, my pal Justin, test out his lens. The uh, what the hell are they called? Porta potties. They're like zip tied shut. 
I thought about cutting one of the zip ties and peeing in there anyway, but I'm not really a lawbreaker. It's giving Calvin Klein. Big, big and tall. Can you still see me? You can't even hear me right now. I don't even know why I'm like, talking to you. Can you see me? I'm gonna sit. Can you still see me? Oh, they're doing a really cool photo shoot over here. I wanna be part of it. I have to pee and poop now. I have to go number one and number two. Quite possibly at the same time. Usually at the same time. Dude, who poops and doesn't pee, bro? Kinda of comfortable now. Kinda of don't wanna move. I'm just gonna sit here for a few minutes. It's so nice out, minus all the noxious haze. All right, I'm coming back. Dude, check out the sun right now. It's giving Last of Us, it's giving Apocalypse, it's giving 28 Days Later. You see the sun right here? It's right there. Doesn't that look cool? That is getting people all the way out over there. How many millimeters are we at right now, like realistically? It's, it's 1,400 millimeter equivalent. Bro. But I'm also thinking. That is picking up people eating over there. That's just madness. The best thing is this this whole thing. The best about this all the way thing. over there. It's it's recording the audio of you talking from that mic. How gnarly is that? Over there is the Empire State Building. And right there is the World Trade Center. How insane is that view back there? This is like the best spot ever to get to New York City skyline. And it's a hazy night, it's not even that clear out. But New York City. New York City, the greatest city in the world. I think that's about a great place to end the video. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you had fun. I know I did. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.